Hello everyone and uh, today we've got another question. So it, it is a pretty straightforward and you know a problem that everybody faces today. So the thing is uh, you know coconut oil soaps, 100% coconut oil soaps are uh, uh, you know pretty big these days and a lot of people make 100% coconut oil soaps but you know from the initial time I've been telling that you know using only coconut oil for your soaps tends to dry out the skin a lot. So we can, you know, mix with other oils to get a proper, better output from the soaps. Coconut oil, yes, it is a good cleaning agent. It is good in removing dirt. All of that is there. But today, you know, the needs of a consumer are totally different and it's not only to remove dirt. So a soap has a lot of functions. So one is to remove dirt, dirt yes. Then it has to maintain the moisture of the skin. Uh, it has to, you know, uh, improve the texture of the skin and the expectations have also increased to the point, you know, where a medicine and a cosmetic product have crossed paths a lot and, uh, you know, the highest selling soaps are which give a solution. A solution in the sense, you know, either improves complexion or uh, reduces acne, reduces skin problems. I've, I've got queries, you know, for making soaps for rashes and all of that. So in, in today's world, since the expectation of soaps have become greater and it's, it's not only about uh, you know, removing dirt, a 100% coconut oil soap is not suitable. So the next thing is what kind of oils do I mix, how do I mix it and you know what does what. So for that, I've got a free workshop, you know, which you can click the link below and it will guide you to our website where you can fill in your details and a link will be given. You can learn the in-depth, detailed way of making a soap, you know, when to use what oil, how to choose oils and all of that. It is a three-hour video and it's completely free, so you can make use of it. Uh, coming to the question as such, so what are the alternate, cheaper, soft oils that I, I can use along with coconut oil? So generally, when talking about hard, soft and brittle oils, an ideal combination is... 75% or 85% hard oils and 15% soft oil. So coconut oil being one hard oil, we can also substitute palm oil which is cheaper alternative. And there's, there's a lot of uh, negativity about palm, palm oil in the western media. But this is predominantly to the way palm is cultivated rather than you know what negative impacts the oil has for you. For a soap, palm really is a good oil. And today in India, there are a lot of palm cultivations. You know, you can get palm from Kurg, which are, you know, uh, grown as intercrops in coffee plantations. So these can be a good alternative to the, uh, you know, traditional palm cultivation practices. So palm is a good option. And uh, castor oil, again, can be used at 10 or 15%. So 10, I think, ideally would be a, a good percentage. So if I were to use the oils, I would use about... Uh, say 40 to 45 percent of coconut oil, 10 percent of castor oil and the balance I would use palm oil and calculate the caustic soda accordingly. So this is what I would do. The reason I am choosing these oils is because they are locally cultivated, they are locally available and henceforth you get it at a better price and the end product becomes cheaper and the performance also is you get an overall good performance. The soap is really good. We use a kind of similar formula for our production. You can try it. So do try it and let me know your feedbacks. And if you got any more questions regarding soap making, you know, how to make uh, soaps, cosmetics, business and all of that, feel free to comment below. I'll answer your questions and we'll, you know, we'll take it kind of as a series and you can ask any questions, just random ones, good ones. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. This is Kaviraj Monasundram signing off. Bye-bye.